YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. Shout out to the HBCUs. Man, this morning, I feel like really refreshed. Taking the last couple days off and now we're back. But anyway, um, a name that has continued to be popping and continue to get all this buzz around them. I keep hearing about them. I heard about them when we were reviewing the other undrafted free agent receivers like Polk, Amike, well, it used to be Amike, and then he was like, you know what, Ravens, ah, this ain't for me. Uh, but when we were reviewing the other guys, there will be some people, hey, check out Shamar Bridges. Check out Shamar Bridges because the Ravens, they have continued to let us know this offseason, hey, we are going to find our big man. We going to. We are going to find our, our, our giant receiver that could go up and get it, but still got a little bit of wiggles too. We going to find him. And they continue to do it. Like uh, Devin, he, he was, what, 6'5"? I think Polk was like 6'3". Um, and now... Shamar Bridges, he is six foot four. Six four, about 207, 210 around there. But he's six foot four. Huge guy. Uh, undrafted rookie free agent from Fort Valley State University at HBCU. And he obviously went undrafted. And I think it was because he did go to a smaller school. Now, um, what I saw from him, what I love, my favorite part about his game. He is smooth. He, he is literally smooth in everything that he does. From the line, getting off the line. Initially, when I was watching him, I'm like, man, coming off the line, he not really, he not really that fast. But then he got the ball in his hands, and then he started hitting that stride. And then I was like, hold up, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I'm, I'm looking at it wrong. Because, again, like we said before, like y'all know already, um, them taller receivers – they could be really fast, but their stride, they got them super long legs. So sometimes it doesn't look like they are as fast as like a smaller guy. Um, but he, he got that, that long stride. Um, but he is very, very smooth in his route running. He ain't like stopping on a dime or anything like that. But he's very, again, smooth. Like he ain't going, ah, ah, ah. He's going, Ah, 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 just like that. that. That's the perfect, my, in my opinion, the perfect way to describe his route running. Um, he is somebody that I, I love the way that he turns up field after he catches the ball. And again, with him, it's like when he, after he catches the ball, it's nothing dramatic. He doesn't go, he doesn't catch it. And go, nope. He catches it and then smoothly turns up field. He catches it and then he'll he'll smoothly break a tackle. He catches it and then he'll smoothly hit his stride down the field. Well, yeah, I, I got it, y'all. I'm cool. I, and his, I mean, his name is Shamar. He got to be smooth with a name like that, right? Like, y'all know Shamar Moore. Well, I know my older folks will know who Shamar Moore is. He, that, that brother was smooth, man. He was smooth. And in every movie he would be in and stuff, that, that boy was smooth, man. Um, but no, I, I, I really liked... Uh, what I saw from Shamar Bridges. Um, physical guy. Uh, I mean, and we would expect you to be physical. He's 6'4". Not afraid of contact. Um, not afraid to go up and get it. Uh, the fade route, that, that's his thing too. You catch him in the back of the end zone, jumping up, out jumping somebody to go get the ball. Uh, I, I, I loved it, man. I loved it. And the, the Ravens, they clearly loved it too because they ended up uh, signing him. Now, for him, um, special teams ain't going to be it. I don't think special teams will be the way for him to make the roster. Uh, but I think really showing out. Showing out. Um, I, I was reading. I know my guy JT hit me up on it too. And then I saw this, uh, this article that had some different uh, – I was asking him some different questions. It was in an interview. Um, asked him who his, uh, who his – who, who does he compare himself to? What NFL player? He said Kenny Galladay. Well, I'm, I'm sure you're talking minus the injuries and stuff, but Kenny Galladay. And Kenny Galladay, taller receiver, go up and get it we'll get, when he's healthy. Uh, I mean, let, let, I, Lions Kenny Galladay. I'm sure you ain't talking about Giants Kenny Galladay. Lions version of Kenny Galladay when he was healthy. Um, he, he was also asked, who, who are three people that you would love to have dinner with? He said, Jesus, Kobe Bryant, I forgot who the third person was, but his reasoning was because 
he felt like he would come out of that dinner a lot wiser. I was like, oh, okay. I like that. I like that. That, that maturity level right there. Um, but yeah, so with Ravens, again, Ra Ravens, they seem very, very determined. They, they seem to have a type. They, they, they got a type. And I know they've thrown some other receivers, undrafted guys too. They've thrown some other guys in here and there, but they seem to have this type at undrafted rookie free agent, at undrafted wide receiver. And they they're obviously looking for a, a big guy. <laughs> they're looking for a tall guy. They're looking for guys that go up and get it, man. And maybe, just maybe, I, I don't know how much of a chance a lot of these guys have on making the roster. It's going to be tough because, and you know, Ravens, they can't keep everybody. They can't keep everybody. They can't keep everybody on the active roster. They can't even keep everybody on the practice squad. You can't keep everybody. So... I just uh, I, I, I wonder if this is a, a sign that the Ravens are looking to incorporate more into their passing game. And what I mean when I say that is I wonder if they're looking to add those jump balls like the fade routes in, in, in the end zone that so much of us were clamoring for. And I don't know if that's on Greg Roman. If you ask Des Bryant, he say he's on Greg Roman. <laughs> yeah, but you remember that whole little practice thing with the practice video. You know, anyway, um, if you ask uh, Greg Roman, he'll probably say it's on Lamar. But <laughs> so, so I don't know. But anyway, um, whether it's on Lamar, whether it's on Greg Roman, whether it's on the Ravens just as a whole – they, I wonder if this is a sign, like they are looking to incorporate uh, more of that and just really get another outside guy. Um, I still think they're going to end up signing somebody, a veteran, uh, but time is ticking. I know everybody talking about June 1st post cuts. And all that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Because, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what goes down with that. Um, but I, I just wonder if they're looking to just expand. And expand on what they expanded on last year, even though it seemed more like it was due to the situation. Um, but taking the passing game, taking bits and pieces of it from last year and how they just they grew because they really did grow as a team. They grew as a team, as a as a passing team. Um, and they, they took another step forward. There were some little ugly moments in there, but. They took another step forward as a passing team. So when they are looking for all these big receivers, like literal big receivers, um, I wonder if that's just to add another element uh, to their game. Um, add another level of physicality, maybe. Because they, they play a very physical style of football. You know, Ravens are not a finesse team. They are a very uh, rough team. They love running the football. Maybe they just want some more guys that are great blockers. You know, Miles Boykin. Boy, that boy, that boy will block his behind off. So maybe they're like, man, we lost our big 6'4", six, 6'5", six, wide receiver. You know what? Let's go get another one. Because, you know, we still about to run this ball. Um, but I just, yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. Ravens keep it interesting. Um, but, again, Shamar, shout out to Shamar Smooth Bridges. Because um, that, again, smooth, man. Smooth. That's the, 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 the best word, the perfect word to describe his game. I tried to, I was really, like, trying to look up his stats. I could not find them. I could not find them. I, I know his uh, senior year. I, I forgot how many catches he had. I think he had, he had like, uh, maybe like about 1,100 yards. And I think it was like seven touchdowns. I forget how many catches, though. He, so his, his senior year, the, the numbers were nice. But I couldn't find his stats from any other. And, out, boy, I was searching. Like, trust me, I was searching. I really was, but I could not find it. Um, so I couldn't see, like, the patterns, the consistencies, and the inconsistencies, improvements, things that needed to improve. I, I couldn't see any of that from, the, from his numbers. I couldn't see the numbers. Um, but I think, again, one of the biggest reasons that he probably went undrafted is because he went to a smaller school, a smaller HBCU school. And for the HBCUs, it, it can be a, a lot harder um, just to get attention, uh, just to get the – because even when I was looking for, like, film and stuff, um, I did find a couple of games that I watched that were, like, on, like, a, a normal broadcast. But, like, some of the first stuff that pops up, when I looked, the, looked up, like, full games – um for uh for fsvu it was like somebody just somebody just recording off of a camera 
That was one of the first things that popped up. Somebody just recording the whole game off of a camera, so you couldn't really see everybody uh, from that view. So, yeah, man. So him getting his opportunity. Oh, and, and he's a Florida Raven. He's from Jacksonville, Florida. So he's a Florida Raven. So he, hey, so he got a leg up on a lot of other people, man. He, he, he got a leg up on a lot of other people, especially because, you know, Ravens, they just lost two Florida Ravens. They lost two Florida Ravens this offseason. Well, they lost one and the other one they gave away. But Hollywood and Sammy Watkins, they were Florida Ravens. So they got to replace the Florida Ravens with Florida Ravens. So Shamar Bridges, I'm sure he going to fit right in. 